Hey guys, I go Ninja here, and welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 3. In today's episode, we're going to continue working on our major build project we started in the last episode. But before we can get started on that, we're going to need to go around and gather and process up a ton of materials. So let's go get started. As we take a look around, you'll notice that a few things have changed around our starter area. We've been putting some finishing touches up on this area as we get ready to hopefully move into our new area in today's episode. Over here, you'll notice we've got our first animal spawn. He spawned while we were working on our area when we had grass over here, which I have now replaced with moss. So I added some additional grass over here. So maybe he'll get a buddy or two spawn in while we continue to work on the new area. We've also gotten rid of all the torches around the area and just added some additional lanterns and glow berries. So everything is properly lit up and we don't have any ugly torches. Not a big fan. We've added this little path in, replaced all the moss, added some additional candles. I think it looks really good in here. Over here, you'll notice we've added a whole bunch of storage drawers. And the reason we've done that is I've been working on processing materials and we were getting a lot of certain items. So I decided to just go ahead and start a storage system of storage doors that we can move over into our new area once we get ready. So this will be the only thing that leaves this area is just these storage doors. And of course, all of the materials that are in chests and stuff, probably our plants too, <laughs> but all the machines, we're gonna kind of leave over here to kind of illustrate, well, this was Agro Ninja starter area. And this is the machines that he used. So when there's a world download available in the future, you'll be able to come in here and check it all out. But we have a ton of lapis. We've got a little bit of redstone. We got a decent amount of coal. We've been working on building up our stockpile of stone from all our cobble. We've also added some drawers over here where we're gathering building blocks. We've also been working on creating some additional NDZI alloy. We have a ton of stuff that we've been processing over here. We've got a bunch of iron ore and raw zinc and raw bauxite we have definitely been busy but we need even more stuff so what we're going to do now is go around and process up a whole bunch of materials as well as head down to our area down here the cave system and hopefully not die but gather up some of the resources that we can get down here some granite some diorite and those kind of things maybe some of the create blocks, because I would really like to have some additional materials besides stone, wood, and a DZ to build our new area with. So let's get started on that. So I've been over here processing up some additional materials and I kind of got an idea. If we're going to be heading down here to gather resources, there's going to be a ton of mobs and we might need something a little bit better than our iron and chain mill combination. So what I was thinking is we have a ton of diamonds. Well, I wouldn't say a ton of diamonds, but we have a decent amount of diamonds. We have over two stacks. So let's go ahead and grab a stack. We should be able to make some better armor with our diamonds. 
And we can also go ahead and make an anvil, which I think is just iron uh, blocks and a couple of ingots. Anvil. Yes, that's exactly what I thought it was. And I know we only have three levels, so you're saying, wait, how are you going to do any enchantments with only three levels? Well, that's because we've been storing them just in case we die. So we should be able to go in here and take all of our levels. And we want to take them all. That's still only 26. But if we go over here, I added an extra step to our iron process. So we took our iron ingot. And we'll just do a stack to show you. We'll do a stack and a half. We were dropping them back into the crusher instead of putting them over here to get smelted. And it turns them into these crushed iron ore. We could then go wash these and get an ingot's worth of nuggets and one redstone. Or we can smelt them into just an ingot. So it doesn't really do any doubling, which would be nice. But it does give us additional nuggets of experience so we can go ahead and grab some of these and let's see how much experience this give us so a whole stack gave us 28 so we're gonna probably need all of that so we'll go ahead and grab it all and we just cracked 30 so that's enough to get at least one of our pieces of armor level 30 or tier 2 tier 3 we'll see <laughs> let's go ahead and make our anvil real quick we needed three iron blocks And we were missing one. There we go. Get rid of all those. And it was across the top. And then it was it like this. Uh, did I do that backwards? What am I doing wrong? Uh, oh, it's that way. I'm missing one piece of iron. <laughs> all right. So we now have an anvil. We'll just put that over here. We need to go ahead and craft up our diamond armor. Well, there's our boots. There's our pants. There is our chest plate, and there is the helmet. And I'm not sure, let's take a look at diamond sword versus what we have, which is our vile sword. I don't know if it's any better. So a diamond sword does seven attack, and our vile sword does six. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a diamond sword, and we'll uh, try to throw some enchantments on that as well, so that we get. All right, we now have a diamond sword. So let's go over here to our anvil. We'll throw the sword on first. Uh, oh, we need some lapis. We could probably find one or two pieces of lapis. <laughs> AKA, we got a bunch. All right, let's try that again. Lapis, sword. What am I doing wrong? Is this not, oh, this is the wrong item. We need an enchantment set up. Oh, I am an idiot. <laughs> what a derpy moment. I do not have the materials to set up an enchantment area. I don't think. Let's take a look and see. So I looked through a few recipes and I believe we have access to everything that we're gonna need to set up a tier 15 enchantment area or whatever you wanna call that, <laughs> power 15. The biggest thing that we're gonna have a difficulty acquiring is books. And if we take a look at books, we can get them from using the slime balls that we got from all the slimes, as well as patterns and paper. And the paper, about the only way we can craft this at our current capability level is with tree bark, which we can get from a cutting board, an ax, and wood, which we have plenty of. So let's go ahead and work on getting those items together for an enchantment setup.
So I have everything together we need to make the final piece of our enchantment setup, which is the actual enchanter. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. That'll probably be a vanilla reward. Oh, I thought that was uh, an achievement. I guess not. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and plop that down right there. And it says power level 12. That's odd. It should be 15. Um, I wonder if these are too far. If these are out of range. Where's our axe at? Let's pull those up and see if it goes down. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? It says still says 12. Let's recraft those real quick. Shouldn't take but a moment. So I have everything together we need to make the final piece of our enchantment setup, which is the actual enchanter. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. That'll probably be a vanilla reward. Oh, I thought that was uh, an achievement. I guess not. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and plop that down right there. And it says power level 12. That's odd. It should be 15. Um, I wonder if these are too far. If these are out of range. Where's our axe at? Let's pull those up. And see if it goes down. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? It says still says 12. Let's recraft those real quick. Shouldn't take but a moment. So I did get this figured out. Uh, it has to be in a space of at least two out and it can't have none in, anything in between the enchantment table and the bookshelf. And it can't go higher than two blocks, I guess. And it has to, it can go anywhere around it. So we've got one here and we've got one over here. And that actually bumped us up to 16. I didn't think it went higher than 15 on a vanilla enchanter table. So. If I'm missing something or it's been updated, let me know in the comments. We can go ahead and put our piece of carpet back that we pulled up to test. Because I had tried placing it there and it worked. And then I tried the corners and I like the way it looks in the corners better. Because we can later get some candles or something or a pot with some flowers and put that in there in the corner. But I think it looks okay in here. We got rid of the stuff that was on the wall. We didn't need the melter anymore and those shelves were really just for looks. We've got a whole bunch over there, so I just went ahead and took these out. Now we have an enchanter, so we should be able to right click this, throw our diamonds in there, or excuse me, our lapis, <laughs> and now we can take our diamond gear, and let's see what we get. Ooh, looting three, gonna take that for sure. Looting three and sharpness three, oh, we'll take that. All right, let's see what we get on our chest plate. Fire protection three, uh, yeah, that will be worth it. And we got unbreaking three and thorns too. Not sure what thorns does anymore, but we will see what we get on our boots. Hmm, unbreaking three, protection. Oh, that would be really nice to have. We need to get our levels up before we can get that protection four. So let me see what I can do about doing that. So I went outside and ground up some more ores and got some more XP clumps. We have 34 levels now, and hopefully that's enough to finish up our enchantment. So which one was it that had the protection for? I believe it was the boots. Uh, we'll go ahead and add our lapis back. Yes, protection four. That also gave us unbreaking three, so that's really nice. Two of our pieces of armor, well, two of four have got unbreaking three. So let's go for the next one. Uh, protection three. And aqua affinity, very nice. Uh, although, <laughs> I don't know how good that's gonna do in a world full of stone, but hey, you never know. Maybe we'll do some aquarium work. So we're now down to 28. Let's run outside real quick. We probably have some more clumps by now that'll give us back above 30. And just on the safe side, we'll do one more. <laughs> All right, 34 levels. That should be enough to do two more level three enchantments. I think you can enchant a shield. When it comes to vanilla mechanics like this, I'm just, really a noob I, I don't really do the vanilla stuff very much uh, let's see here where is our diamond leggings let's see what we got protection four i don't know if these stack but we got protection four and breaking three so everything has on breaking three except for our helmet and our sword so let's get our shield out and let's see if we're able to enchant this uh, it does not appear so so i was wrong on that for some reason i thought you could enchant a shield but that's okay we've got our armor we've got our sword our tools i'll probably repair the pick all the way and our axe and then we're gonna head down to the no man's land and get some resources gathered up
So I've spent several hours over the last couple of days gathering up a whole bunch of materials and doing a bit of processing in between while we were spending time repairing and building additional diamond hammers. You can see we've added a whole bunch more stuff to our storage drawers. This isn't really any new items over here. It's just a whole bunch of bulk stuff we've been pulling out of our diamond chest as we get a whole bunch of it. Over here, you can see where I've started collecting some building blocks for our build. I still haven't fully fleshed out the blocks that we're gonna use for our build palette. So I've been collecting a whole bunch of everything. As you can see, we got some of the standard blocks that we like to build with, which is Andesiite. We've got some deep slate, some tuff. We got some dripstone, some diorite, limestone, calcite. I also got the brilliant idea of trying to collect all six of the additional create blocks. I've only gotten four. And that's why I have spent entirely too much time working on gathering materials, and I'm still too short. If we take a look at JEI, you can see the ones that we don't have is this Azarine and the Scorchia. I'm gonna check with my buddies to see if they have any veins that they have found. I, I just haven't found any of this. We, we found some of the Pimsite, we found some of the Orturum, or Kurum, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> and we also found some of this Viridium, but we have not found any of the other two. And I I'm just running out of time. I'm already way behind schedule of getting this episode out. But you can see we've also been working on processing materials. We pretty much switched everything over to crush. So we run everything through twice. So if we're washing, we then crush the gold and copper. And then we're also crushing all of our ores just so we can get all of this experience, which we have got a ton of. <laughs> and we get, we actually had to add a storage drawer for that. And this might fill that up. Yes, it did. So we have to make another copper upgrade for that one. And I've been adding those as we hit 2000. So you'll see some like this one right here has one. Uh, we'll probably make a few more as we go. You can see we got some stuff going on over here. We've got some additional. Ooh, why is there dirt in here for Let's pull that dirt out. Not sure how that got in here, but we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Oh, I know how it got in there. Uh, 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 I put that in to get soul sand, but you don't get soul sand from dirt. You get it from sand. So we'll go ahead and compress that, run it through our hammer, where we got a whole bunch of stuff here. We can pull this dust out and we can pull out some of the sand. And let's put that back and get a full stack. Oh, we already have a full stack. So we're going to throw the sand in here so we get some soul sand to wash for another quartz. We'll throw this dust in here so we can get some stuff from that. And let's throw some additional sand in here. I've been washing all kinds of sand. This is where we get gold. And I don't know if we'll incorporate them, but I really like collecting these blocks of raw gold and blocks of raw copper. We also have plenty of regular copper and gold. And as we've been getting more than nine stacks of ingots, we've been converting them into blocks. So we have two stacks of blocks of iron. So we've been doing quite a bit of resource processing, but mostly just spending a lot of time hunting for these stupid crate blocks. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up on that for now. <laughs> I'm gonna check to see if we have some of the additional blocks with my buddies. But for the most part, we're gonna decide on a block palette and get started on building.
So this area is finally starting to come together. It took me a while to figure out our block palette and I'm still not fully fleshed out our block palette, but I think it's looking pretty good. We'll look at that in just in a moment. You can see we've got a ton of water wheels, 232 to be precise. And I know they're not set up the most efficient way. We're not gonna really be using these for anything other than looks. That's right, we built 232 water wheels for looks. <laughs> and at 192 SU per water wheel, which is what these are generating, we're getting 44,544 total SU. Now, we probably won't use any of this to power any meaningful machines. At most, it'll be set up to power gears like this and other little things that we're gonna have all around kind of just for decorations. We have larger plans for generating significantly more SU than even that, <laughs> which we'll get to in the next couple of episodes. Over here, you can see where we've started laying out additional rooms. On each side of our bridge and causeway area, we'll have four nine by 15 rooms with a hallway in the middle. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this area, if you have any suggestions or ideas. And if you like the gears in the floor, I've got a lot of plans for doing stuff like this in this area. We're far from done. The squareness will slowly go away and we're gonna add a lot more detail even to the middle part. I haven't figured out what we're gonna do for bridges yet. That's why they're still cobblestone. We also have <laughs> a little bit of an issue. I don't really know. Is there a way to keep these glowing squids from spawning? Cause they're spawning everywhere. They spawn in my gears, they spawn in the water. They slowly die, it's really annoying. The one positive is I've got over two stacks of glowing ink sacks. I don't know if I'll ever need that many, so if there's a way to keep those from spawning, let me know in the comments. But over here, you'll see where we've set up our block pallets. Well, the base of all of our block pallets. So we have the Indesiac casing with a couple blocks that go with it. We have the copper casing with a couple blocks that go with it. And lastly, we have the brass casing. So I think these turned out really good. You can see we have some additional wood here that we're using from the chipped mod. And if we head over to our workshop, you can see how we're getting those. We're getting them via this carpenter's workbench from the chip mod. We also have the glass blower's workbench and the mason's workbench. There's a couple more that I want to build, but it's going to require items that we don't have yet, which hopefully we're about to go get. You can also see while we've been building, I have been gathering up a ton of resources, or I should say processing a ton of resources. Look at this. We got three stacks of blocks of raw gold. We got two stacks of raw iron. We've got three stacks of raw copper. We've also got several stacks of just blocks of, of process ores. We've got a few things over here. Yeah, I just got through cleaning this up. You can kind of see in our cabinets here. I'm not gonna go through every single drawer, but you can kind of see the amount of processing we've been doing. We'll just take a moment, take a look at all these. Now, unfortunately, we did burn through most of our NDZI alloy. We're gonna have to process up a whole bunch more of that. We used a whole bunch on our little bridges. But I think that's gonna about wrap us up for today as far as building. I know, once again, it doesn't look like much, but I spent several hours working on that build, and I really wanted to be done by now, but hopefully going into the next episode, we'll be able to put some finishing touches up on it. It's going to be a while before we fully complete it, because there's just certain items I don't have, and it's going to take a while to get. Like, I want to do a lot of mossy stone and other things like that that we don't really have at the moment, so we're going to have to work on getting some additional stuff but we can definitely get the core design of our room set up in the next episode and start setting up our create stuff. And one of the things that we're gonna need is some of our blaze burners, which we need for a few of our machines. I don't know exactly how many we need, but I built 15 and these are pretty simple. We can look at the recipe for that real quick. It's simply four iron sheets and one nether rack. And I just crafted 15 of these and we're about to go meet up with my buddy and we're going to go clear a couple dungeons or at least one, another dungeon, and hopefully find a few blazes that we can capture and then we'll have the blazed burners. 
and we can use these with various machines that require them. So we'll be able to use them with our pot from Create, whatever that thing's called, the mixer, that's, there we go. <laughs> and a few other items that we're gonna need going into the next episode. Let's go ahead and meet up with him. Well, I think we're right here at it, so we're gonna bust through. I hear a drown, so that's not a good thing. All right, we're, oh, okay, we're right here, we're right here. I'm just gonna pop up in it, see what we got. I don't see anything right away. I'm gonna do some torch lighting. All right, I'm gonna try to parkour over to the the spawner and get it lit. Oh wow! I thought my parkour skills were good. Throw it, throw a torch on the on the spawner. Or to put on it. There we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Why is there so many of them? It's a good thing they're firing at each other. You're just so full of arrows. I just turned around and there was like a million of them. <laughs> Did it trigger a... Uh, oh! Where is the, the spawner at? I'm gonna go, here's the spawner. I found the spawner. I'm, I just lift the spawner up. I'm gonna kind of run through and then run back through. Oop, may have lost the chest. Whoa, where'd all those guys come from? Oh, oh no, oh no. Ooh, I got out of there quickly. <laughs> I think that's the last little area we need to clear out. All right, let's take five minutes and sort our inventories, check our armors and weapons and food, and then we'll meet back up in front of the nether one. So we did find another dungeon, but let me tell you, this place is crazy. We were fortunate to find this blaze spawner over in the corner. We've boxed it in so we don't have to deal with the other mobs. My buddy's already jumped off because we decided not to clear the dungeon. And I'm just farming blazes until we have filled up our blaze burners as well as collected 10 blaze heads. We have three, so we need seven more. So I'm just gonna be here for a while farming. And that will wrap us up. We now have 10 blaze heads and all 15 of our blaze burners filled up. So let's head back to our base. Well, we just spent the last two hours playing around in some dungeons with our friends. <laughs> and look at all of this loot. I'm gonna have to go through this later. I just kept teleporting home and unloading it into these chests. Uh, I did see some food, which we kind of need. But we're getting really close to wrapping this episode up. There's just a couple more things I would like to do. And the first of those is complete some quests. So we have a few quests here we can complete. So we've got stone dungeon for visiting a stone dungeon and spawner dungeon. I guess we have not done that yet, but we also visited another dungeon. So we'll take the reward for that. And on top of visiting those dungeons, we got some useful stuff, but we also got our 15 blaze burners and we got our 10 blazing heads, which we can throw into our smeltery so we can make blazing blood. And then we'll finally be able to finish the getting started section. Making our tier five cobble gen. And we're gonna go ahead and get that ready. So we're gonna pop off our tier four. We're also gonna need an empty bucket, which I think is in one of these chests. Thought I had accidentally put a bucket in here. What's no problem? Yep, there it is right there. 
And as soon as these heads are done smelting, it's already done. So there's our blazing blood. Uh, we should be able to spoon that out. There we go. The only problem is we got a little bit of lava left. So let's see if we can... It's not enough to bucket out. Do we have another fuel tank? I believe we do. We can just pop it off and replace it. doesn't appear we do well i'm gonna craft one of those up real quick so i did get another seared fuel tank so we're gonna just pop this one off we're gonna put the fresh one on there and then we should be able to click in our blazing blood we're gonna put our tier 4 cobble gen in one of our casting basins and then we should be able to smelt some diamonds which i almost forgot about that part it's four blocks of diamonds so, oh, actually, those may already be in here. No, no, because it won't smell. All right, well, let's see. What is a block of diamonds? Is it full nine? It is. So let's do two and see if that's enough. And we now have a tier five cobble gen, which finishes off the getting started quest line, which is pretty huge progress for us today when we've mostly been building. <laughs> Going into the next episode, though, we're going to gonna finish up our build and start diving back into create some immersive engineering getting to some of the chickens so much plans for the future <laughs> but i think for today that's just gonna about gonna wrap us up as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you have any suggestions or feedback please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe this is agro ninja and that's a wrap <laughs>